Many of the Mexicans who came over the last couple of decades came to work and they came to support families back at home uh, with the hope that they would one day return home. And many in fact did return home and particularly in the 1980s and 1990s a phenomenon that scholars call circular migration i.e. you'd come here for six or seven months, you'd work, and then you'd go home for the other part of the year and stay with your family. That was very much in evidence. And surveys suggest that one out of every two Mexicans actually returned within a year or two back home. So 50% every year would just go back home and their family would be at home. That dynamic has changed over the last 10 to 15 years. And we see many fewer going home each year. In part, that's because of stronger border enforcement. It's so much harder to get into the United States. It costs so much more money to hire someone to take you. And it's much more dangerous than it's been in the past because of organized crime uh, and also because of the crackdown in places like San Diego or more populated areas. To cross, you need to go through the desert, very difficult areas to cross. So what this meant is fewer and fewer people go home each year. They're more likely to stay here. And when they stay here for years and years on end, they're more likely to set down roots. They're likely to buy a house. They're likely to get a job where they work year-round. Uh, and the ultimate form of becoming rooted here is they're likely to have kids that are now U.S. citizens.